It was a good start to this game for you guys and then had to hold off quite a run in the second half. Uh, what kind of a win, uh, you know, what does this do for your team to win a tight one like that? Yeah, I knew it was going to be competitive the whole way. Uh, I told our kids, and I've watched a lot of film of these guys, that uh, they've fallen behind early in a lot of games, but in the second half they come roaring back and really get after it. And we were a little flat coming out, and they came out hit some shots and, and made some plays. And then, you know, as soon as you get a little bit of momentum going your way, it can really steamroll real fast. But uh, overall, very happy for our program. We needed this victory. This is a good one for us. We've been in uh, two other close games and lost both of them. So this time we're finally out on top of them over a really good basketball team, too. Uh, Brock Littler came in as the leading scorer for ACG, so you held him scoreless the first half. Really, really good defense all night on him. Who are some of the guys that contributed to that? Yeah, Brody Buck pretty much guarded him the whole night. Brody's our best defender. He did a really good job of containing him early on, and then Jackson kind of cleaned th some things up. We got a little sloppy as we got more tired. Uh, and started getting biased a little bit and dumping off their big guys. So that was a good adjustment for them. But, uh, yeah, overall, I mean, most 90% of the credit goes to Brody. Uh, Caden Severson, I think he was 9 of 10 at the free throw line, had 14 points for you guys. How vital was that? Yeah, Caden is a senior. He's playing, you know, he's playing like one this year. He shot really well from the floor. Uh, and in the end, we wanted to get him or Torn the basketball. It was uncharacteristic for Torn to miss free throw. He's 90% free throw shooter just about. So, um, But, you know, those are the guys that have carried us in the past. And, and you know, Caden's percentage is down a little bit, but he's been coming up as the season's been going on. He's a really good free throw shooter. So it doesn't surprise me that he made that many. Uh, Newell down close to the basket was a big part of your early quick start. They just didn't really have the size to contend with him. Is, is he a guy who typically is kind of a go-to scorer? Does he clean up on the boards? You know, or? people have doubled him hard, and they, they did in the second half especially to keep the basketball away from him. So it's been tough to get him going offensively. Um, and we've been trying. You know, we worked over break working on getting the basketball inside. Um, and, and tonight, you know, it was a perfect opportunity for him to get some putbacks and some easy inside scores based off the size. But, I mean, they really did a good job being physical with them and double and triple teaming him. And, and so, you know, I'm, I'm happy for Jackson because he needed a game like this because he's cap more cap offensive capable player than what he's shown. Obviously, from your perspective, you get up 16, 18, you'd rather just kind of put it away and roll. But, um, you know, in the end, to, to have to respond after giving up a big run, how, how valuable that be? Yeah, I mean, that's big moving forward because, you know, now you know no matter what happens, you can still do it. You got to gather yourself and finish it. Um, and and we, we did that this summer. We're still trying to, you know, come around in the form. We're just getting some couple guys back. Uh, from injury, so we're not 100% gel, and you can see that right now. We're trying to figure each other out a little bit, but um, yeah, you know, this this will hopefully carry us forward, and, and I'm really excited about where we where our season is headed. Good to talk to you, coach. Right. Thanks for your time. Yep, thank you.